Once upon a time, in the magical land of Equestria, there were two regal sisters who ruled together and created harmony for all the land. To do this, the eldest used her unicorn powers to raise the sun at dawn. The younger brought out the moon to begin the night. Thus, the two sisters maintained balance for their kingdom and their subjects, all the different types of ponies. But as time went on, the younger sister became resentful. The ponies relished and played in the day her elder sister brought forth, but shunned and slept through her beautiful night. One fateful day, the younger unicorn refused to lower the moon to make way for the dawn. The elder sister tried to reason with her, but the bitterness in the young one's heart had transformed her into a wicked mare of darkness, Nightmare Moon. She vowed that she would shroud the land in eternal night. Reluctantly, the elder sister harnessed the most powerful magic known to Ponydom, the Elements of Harmony. Using the magic of the Elements of Harmony, she defeated her younger sister and banished her permanently in the moon. The elder sister took on responsibility for both sun and moon, and Harmony has been maintained in Equestria for generations since. Hmm, Elements of Harmony. I know I've heard of those before, but where? Nice recovery, Zach. Yeah, thanks for teaching me, Jason. No problem. <laughs> that was awesome, Kimberly. Thanks, Trini. <laughs> hey, fellas. Yo, Billy, what's up? Well, I think I'm mentally and physically prepared for my first karate class. <laughs> oh, no, look who's here. Ball and skull. Hi, girls. How about that double date we talked about? Yeah. <laughs> what about? Sorry, guys. What's the matter? We're not good enough for you? Leave us alone, Bulk. Oh, yeah? Make me. Yeah. Make me. <laughs> him. Hey, Kim. Hey, you heard what she said. Oh, what do you know? The dancer wants to be a fighter. It's okay, Zach. We can handle these two. Oh, really? Let's show him some karate moves, Skull. You guys should definitely join Jason's karate class. There you are, Twilight. Moon Dancer is having a little get together in the West Castle courtyard. You want to come? Oh, sorry, girls. I got a lot of studying to catch up on. <sighs> Does that pony do anything except study? I think she's more interested in books than friends. I know I've heard of the elements of harmony. We're helping. <laughs> yeah, boy. I'll bet. The I'm not so sure. 
you know. Sure, as long as... An old copy of Predictions and Prophecies. What's that for? Well, it was a gift for Moondancer, but... Oh, Spike, you know we don't have time for that sort of thing. But we're on a break! Yeah. I couldn't have dreamed more. No. No, 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 no! Ugh! Spike! It's over here! Ah! Elements, elements, E, E, E. Aha! Elements of harmony. See Mare in the Moon? Mare in the Moon? But that's just an old pony's tale. Mare, Mare, aha! The Mare in the Moon, myth from olden pony times. A powerful pony who wanted to rule Equestria, defeated by the elements of harmony and imprisoned in the moon. Legend has it that on the longest day of the thousandth year, the stars will aid in her escape, and she will bring about nighttime eternal. <gasps> Do you know what this means? I don't think so. Take a note, please. To the princess. Oh, Doki? My dearest teacher, my continuing studies of pony magic have led me to discover that we are on the precipice of disaster. Hold on. Prissy. Prissy. Threshold. Where? Uh, Brink? Ugh, that something really bad is about to happen. For you see, the mythical Mare in the Moon is in fact Nightmare Moon, and she's about to return to Equestria and bring with her eternal night. Something must be done to make sure this terrible prophecy does not come true. I await your quick response. Your faithful student, Twilight Sparkle. Twilight Sparkle! Got it! Great! Send it. Now? Of course. Mm. I don't know, Twilight. Princess Celestia's a little busy getting ready for the summer sun celebration. And it's like the day after tomorrow. That's just it, Spike. The day after tomorrow is the thousandth year of the summer sun celebration. It's imperative that the princess is told right away. Impera? Impera? Important! Uh -huh. Okay, okay. <gasps> there. It's on its way. But I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, I'm not worried. The princess trusts me completely. In all the years she's been my mentor, she's never once doubted me. <laughs> See? I knew she would want to take immediate action. <clears throat> my dearest, most faithful student, Twilight. You know that I value your diligence and that I trust you completely. Mm -hmm. But you simply must stop reading those dusty old books. 